we're going to show you how to make a two-seater outdoor chair. Start by cutting the base of the chair with a project panel from Bunnings. Measure out and then cut a 1,200mm by 600mm rectangle using the Ryobi 18V1 Plus HP brushless circular saw. Now you've cut the base to size, it's time to cut the side arms. Cut two 600mm by 350mm pieces of project panel. Then, along the bottom 600mm lengths, cut a 10 degree angle using a circular saw. For a sleek design, create a curved look for the top of the side arms. Grab a piece of string and work out your desired radius. We've gone for a wider curve. Mark your desired curve on one side of the panel with a pencil mark. To create a reclined look, you'll need to cut an angle on the chair sides where the base, back and arm panels meet. Mark out a 10 degree angle from the top left of the panel to the bottom. Then, Using a Ryobi 18V1 Plus HP brushless jigsaw, cut the curve and the 10 degree angle for the recline. Then, use the cutout piece to trace on the second side panel. Then cut. Using the 18V1 Plus drill driver, pre-drill 4mm holes into the base to allow you to screw on your sides. We're pre-drilling holes approximately 100mm apart. Once the sides and base are screwed together, lay this over the remaining piece of project panel. Trace an outline onto the panel, as this will ensure your back panel is the correct size and length of your arms. Use your circular saw to cut along the lines and insert it in place to check that it fits. Now, pre-drill 4mm holes approximately 100mm apart and screw the backboard into place. To help distribute the weight of the chair and the people sitting on it, you'll need to build a crossbench that attaches to the legs and to the base of the chair. To do this, cut out two panels and cut a 45 degree angle to all ends. This is what you'll attach your legs to. Now it's time to cut the legs. These will be approximately 300 millimetres long and you'll need to cut both ends on a parallel 45 degree angle. Make sure you cut four lengths exactly the same. Pre-drill through the top of each leg and screw them onto the cross piece, making sure that they are flush. Do this for both sets of legs. We're using eight gauge by 40 millimetre stainless steel decking screws. Turn the chair upside down and screw the cross piece into the base of the chair. Careful not to let the screws poke through to the other side. There you have it, a stylish chair you made with Ryobi and your own two hands. What's next? <laughs>